Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Wrong World, episode four for our series here. Last time we left off, I had said I was going to go out and collect a bunch of materials, and that's what I did. I just ran out and just gathered all, all sorts of materials we need to build some stuff. You can see our tree is actually doing pretty well. The most important thing right now is that we get uh, probably a chest up for one, but we should also go ahead and get a um, get a farm going. All right, so here's all of the material I have. Uh, the very first thing is I want to fire up this smelter here so that I can craft um, some gold bars. It's going to be pretty important. How do I actually... Here we go, gold bar. So we'll get a gold bar. Yeah, there she is. And um, we're going to drop this one ore for now. Stuff doesn't uh, despawn, so it'll be all right right there. And pick up this one. Oh, we're hungry. Well, we could probably deal with that in a second, right? We're missing a mushroom for food purposes. We do have this meat here we can cook real quick. I just got to drop something. Oh, crap. Wasn't aware that he could jump on walls. Wow, he's really trying. There, daytime. It's what we needed. Okay, yeah, the farm is the very first thing we got to set up. We're a little, we're in a rough spot because of that. Uh, when it comes to food, so let's definitely cook this meat. That'll help a little bit. Ooh, I just spilled hot tea on my lap. That did not feel good at all. That really, um, yeah, it was really uncomfortable. <laughs> all right. Yeah, whew, we feel a lot better. Seeds. Yeah, let's get some type of farm thing going. Actually, uh, I've got all of this wood. Okay, here's the first thing I want to do. We've got that thing over there I know I want to use, right? So I actually went ahead and gathered all the materials I could to build the electronics workbench, which I think we're going to be able to use for... I don't know, building electronic items. Not sure which kind yet. Wires, we know. But we don't really know what else for science. Uh, okay. So we built it in what? It's just on our table? Is that what I'm seeing here? I guess it is. Yeah, like uh, workbench uh, benches love being upgraded. So we just upgraded our workbench, and now we can do si uh, science things. So copper wiring, fuel cell, metal plating, superconductive. Wow, jetpack. Oh, we know we want to do that, and a launch pad. Wow, this is uh, pretty awesome. Okay, copper wire, wiring made of copper. You probably worked that out. Yeah, we need to do this then, which means I need to go pick up the ore I dropped. Oh, and I want to pick up these seeds as well. Uh, did I get all of it? No. So where did I drop it? Did it roll down the hill? I see something down there. I dropped it right here to grab the meat, I thought. I must have went down the hill. All right, and off we go. As I plunge to my death. Well, hopefully those guys don't chase us. Okay, they're not going to. Yep, right here it is. It did fall. Oh, we got it now. Well, walls are down here, why don't we find some mushrooms? We're hurting really bad right now for materials. Oh my god, this fell too. It's a gold bar. Well, hurting really bad for food, is what I meant to say. There's something really interesting over here while I was gathering materials uh, that I found, and I really wanted to show you guys it, but uh, I figured I'd do that right after I got like a, <laughs> some type of farm or something, but I guess I'll show you now. It's off in the distance there. It looks like a sunken pirate ship or something, or like a, uh, a beached pirate ship. You can see it right out there. And there seems to be a path of crates leading to it. 
So we're going to try to head to that this episode, or at least next episode, but to do that, I... I obviously need to be in a much better position when it comes to resources. And my health. My health is just absolutely atrocious. This is this is permadeath, guys. Remember, if I die, that's it. If I die, that is the end of the series. A as is all the series on my channel. You know, if I... If I uh, to an extent, unless I say otherwise. <laughs> but this particular one is running like that. Like a roguelike. You get the gist. There's... Let's see. That would have been a good spot to build a base, actually. Yeah, food. Turning into an issue for us. Obviously, I could just kill those snakes for a little bit of meat, but I'm kind of on the search for a mushroom. I didn't really want... Oh, there we go. I didn't really want to engage in combat simply because... Um... We're in a rough spot for health. And until I can get my health higher, which is... Which I'm learning is very tricky to do. And until I can get it higher, we're, we're kind of uh, in a little bit of trouble. And the game, of course, does have an autosave function, so no getting around that. All right, but now with the mushrooms and with the copper I've picked up, I can go ahead and craft, craft a copper wire. I'm very curious what that does. I'm hoping it's a good thing. Could be a bad. Uh, we'll get this recipe for mushroom sh soup. Good to go. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, okay, he left, he left. Wow, that could have been real bad. I don't know what made him like spawn in and spawn out, but I'll... Be grateful because that was probably would have we actually probably would have died. I I wasn't really able to get the reaction I wanted to get out of myself for that. Alright, copper bar, fire it up, smelter, fire it up. There she is. Grab that. And we'll craft ourselves a copper wire. Okay, the farm though, right? The farm was something we really wanted to get up. But we'll go... Of course inventory's full. You just picked up an item I didn't even want you to pick up. Oh, we've got all these seeds too. We should... Where do we want to put the garden? We've got a tree farm over there. The garden should be over here by the camp fire. This could be like a cooking area, I guess. Or maybe... Let's see. It should be by the tree farm, actually. That makes a lot more sense. We'll put the garden right here. At least get some of these seeds planted. That's going to give me some food. At some point. It's going to take a little bit to grow. Then we're going to obviously plant some of these. Just so we can keep the tree farm nice and growing. Because it takes... I, I'm already seeing that it takes a little bit to... For this stuff to grow. So if you want to take advantage of it. You need to start way ahead of time. How many of these do I have? One more. There we go. We should have some more seeds around here. So we can pick those up. Here's some here. Or here's one. There's an acorn. We'll ignore it. I uh, might have to fight that guy. Since he doesn't seem like he wants to really leave. Let's go put the copper wire in at least. I'll put the seed in. I like uniformity. That's why I'm kind of trying to keep the garden looking. I don't care about the tree farm, but the garden I kind of want to look halfway decent. Oh boy. What if I like, what if this kills me somehow? I'm going to be really upset if that does. I feel like this is a mistake. Alright. Oh. What is going on? Are we summoning aliens? Is that what's happening? 
No, it's just moving. What is it doing, though? I don't know. Well, let's let it do its thing. That's very cool. Wow, that's really cool. I'm glad we built our base here. We can just let that do whatever it's doing. Um, I imagine it's doing some important stuff. Um, stuff way above my pay grade, clearly. Okay, this guy's gonna have to die. It's just not something we can put up with. It's constantly trying to dodge him. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Unless I switch to something. Pickaxe is fine. Just anything. That was close. So the real question is, how long does that thing do that for? And the real answer would be, I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Sounds cool. Okay, so we've got this nice little farming area. We need to craft another axe. Wooden or a stone axe if we can. It's just blasting like signal into the sky. All right, uh, crafting, crafting, crafting. Alchemy table. Uh, nowhere's near ready for that. Uh, we don't have any glass. Um, cooking pot. So five wood, one copper bar, one campfire, right? So five, one copper bar. I don't believe we have a copper bar. An anvil would be nice too. Um, a smelter, right? Because what is this? Oh, it's a smelter. So we just need a, okay, we don't have a copper bar. We don't have the ore for a copper bar. We do have an iron bar. Uh, food is another thing we're going to need again. And these plants aren't going to be ready for a little bit, I imagine. So let's go ahead and uh, at least we've got a halfway decent uh, setup going with a little bit of plants. Uh, we'll let that thing keep running and see what it eventually does. Hopefully we don't die while it's doing its thing. Because uh, we'll never know. It'll forever be a mystery to all of us. But Wells, it's trying to summon some sort of like evil monolith or whatever. We're going to head on over to that pirate ship, I think. There might be a potential for food or other things there uh, that we could use. I'd like to find some food. I'd like to find maybe a few crafting items and such. Uh, on our way there, of course, we'll pick up any mushrooms we find, any other materials that we think could be useful. Uh, I need more seeds. That's kind of a definite. And I can get those from trees. Just so I can get some more plants uh, put down. Obviously, copper ore is another big one. Here's a seed right here. Got a couple rocks over here that I could. I could break real quick. Um, I don't really need the. Let's see. So I don't even have the space. I can grab these rocks. I don't have the space for that. A chest would be nice. What am I on material right now, wise? Like, I didn't even need the gold bar. Let's just go out and find food. The pirate ship might have to wait. Um, Even if we go over there and loot, we don't get the space to hold anything we find. Until we build the chest so we could drop a lot of the stuff off. We could, of course, uh, drop a lot of it off on the ground at base. And, you know, we'll probably go back and do that. But let's at least find some food before we head back. Whether I gotta kill this yeti over here or... Whatever I gotta do, we gotta get food. There's a mushroom in there. Oh, okay, I thought that might happen. Ha, ah, another mushroom. So we've got three already. If we could get three more, we could have two bowls 
of mushroom soup, which would heal us up pretty well as well. Pretty well as well. <laughs> yeah, it'd give us a little, I think, 10 health, and it would give us a lot of hunger. 10 health, not counting if we uh, you know, don't get hit. Here's another campfire. So speaking of making food, we might as well cook the... Probably should just cook the three we've got now. I see a bunch. Oh my god, there's a there's a bunch of them over there. All right, let's run and grab this one quick. There's like three or four of them over there I saw. Because this is going to be two right here. Two for the second round, right? So we've got five of them. We need six. Oh yeah, look at them all. This is going to be six. We've got seven. Oh, we're, we're set, guys. We're set. We'll get nice and healed up and nice and be nice and well fed. I've got to grab these ones over here. There's a couple of them. Whether or not I can get to them easily, that's going to be the question. What is that? That looks kind of rare or something. I'm not sure. Probably involving alchemy and such. I feel like I could cook some up real quick. We're pretty hungry. Can I sneak in here real quick and grab these? There's four of them right here. Oh, I guess not. There's one right here, though. Come on, buddy. Chase me if you want to chase me. Um, Yeah, copper ore, leather. Pretty useful stuff. Where'd that come from? Is that mine? No. No. Must have just came out of that crate and I... I didn't really see it. Okay. We're gonna pick it up because it's obviously way more useful than a seed. We can get seeds from anywhere. Um, these mushrooms stack pretty well, so that's why I'm trying to grab the rest of these before we push off. I did manage to get that guy away from this big stash here, so let's grab the rest of them. And let's hightail it back. We've got to do some cooking. We're pretty low on health. Right over there is our base. I can see the satellite dish from here beaming something in the space. We have yet to figure out. I imagine it's some type of morse or a signal. I did get an achievement for it, a steam achievement. But it didn't have anything. It just had like morse code or something. So, But yeah, we, we can cook several pots of mushroom soup now. So that puts us in a really good spot because the health has been somewhat of, uh, of a concern for me because I've been nervous that... Uh, I would end up uh, getting attacked like I am right now, and I would die, which is the end of the game. So, if I die not finding out what that uh, satellite does, I'll be very, very upset. I don't know, still just blasting signals in the space. I'm waiting for something. There's right around all these ruins here, right? So it's probably pretty important. Yeah, let's cook this stuff up. Our hunger is like really low. Um, like really low. I'm getting a little nervous. Do we die instantly or do we start losing health? I hope we don't die instantly because I'm probably... Oh, yeah. Okay, we start losing health. That's that's fine. It's a lot better than dying instantly. Oh, boy. It goes quick, though. Oh, boy. It goes quick. We don't really have the uh, luxury for it to go quick. Oh, Jesus. That was m a little bit more uncomfortable than I wanted it to be. Let's set ourselves up right now. We'll be good. And one more should do it. There we go. We'll pick them all up. And we'll eat another one. That puts us at 98 and 20%. It's a lot better than we've been in a long time. Uh, plants still 
growing or can we we can harvest them right now they look like they need to grow a little bit longer our trees could probably be cut down too but we need we, we want those i think to grow a little bit longer to actually produce like a decent amount of stone to be worth my time 20 wood one copper bar and a workbench we've got plenty of wood we don't got the copper bar So that's what we need to do. However, we are at the end of this episode. We're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, pretty productive though. I mean, our tree farm is looking pretty good. Things are growing well. We're starting to get the first uh, kind of steps, the opening steps to our uh, farm, which is nice. Uh, Crafting is going pretty well. And uh, material harvesting. Food's uh, a little bit better than it was. And we've got this thing up and running, which we don't know what it does yet, but hopefully we find out. So next time, we'll probably just keep working on the farm. I want to expand it a little bit, maybe even get a greenhouse at some point. Uh, and I'd like to build like uh, some fence around it just because um, it would be uh, aesthetically pleasing to the eyes to have a nice little boxed in farm area. And then definitely getting a chest down, uh, emptying some stuff and going to hit up that ship that's off the coast, seeing what's there. There's probably some pretty good stuff. Uh, I imagine because it looks like a pretty dangerous journey to make out there. But with that being said, uh, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.